Well, they found me a chair eventually. Uh, Dave, what a match. We were just thoroughly absorbed by that one, Neil Folds and myself in the box. He has begged me to ask you the question, that bad contact on the black to middle right when it looked like you were going to go 9-5. Did you think after that that you might actually lose the match? Uh, the kick on the black, I mean, we couldn't have asked for a worse time for such a thing, you know, go 9-5 there, I'm looking strong and even though I had a couple of half chances at it after, yeah, when Jack eventually potted it, I felt, felt a bit sick and obviously he started to play really well himself and um, I think he missed a, a bad red. He had the white ball clean when he was in full flow, to be fair, and he ended up waiting for the ref and mi missed a red, 54, I think he had, and I said to myself, come on, the big boys stand up here, this is your chance get back in it and uh, made a great clearance. A brilliant clearance of 73 to, to get to within one of the finishing line and yes okay not all of those breaks were, were piling up into the hundreds but when it counted you put really really composed breaks together. You must be delighted to come through such a tight tricky match with some really really classy finishing. Yeah no I thought it was a real good standard between me and Jack. Um, Obviously, you want to win every game here as easy as possible. It didn't turn out like that. Um, from two, for even a month ago, I can remember playing in the World Grand Prix and, and my game is, was just absolutely shot to pieces. Um, I had no confidence whatsoever. Felt like I'd be back on the tractor soon enough. Uh, so to come here and I put a lot of work in, I've done a few different things. Uh, my game feels like it's coming back together. It's been quite a journey for you, hasn't it? I know you've just alluded to the tractor and there's quite good banter that flies around the press room about your background. But you know, considering that you almost packed it in, you, know, you survived through Q School and here you are, you're the world number 22 and once again, you're in the main draw for the Crucible. What, if you could put your finger on the one thing that's, that's made everything click into place again, what would it be? My wife. She... Uh... I wish I met her 15 years ago and I'd have probably uh, behaved myself a bit better and applied myself more. Yeah, no, she's golden. Um, when I first met Abby, that's when I was going through the Q school at the time, which I weren't even going to play, play in. Uh, so, yeah, since then, a big turnaround in my life, really. Wow, so, so she's, she's held it all together and she, she's got you on the straight and narrow. So, I guess... Sometimes. <laughs> often enough to, to, to get you through to, uh, to the Crucible again. So... I remember the previous times you've appeared, you, you've always travelled with quite a vociferous number of supporters. I, I presume that will be the same again. There'll be one or two of them tuning into the draw tomorrow and firing you a text message saying, come on, big fella, I want some tickets. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Tamworth, where I play, is not too far away. So uh, I'm sure the Tamworth Massive will come up and uh, have a watch, hopefully. It's always good to have them about. Good crack. Uh, and just finally, uh, do you care who you, who you play? Uh, and the other question, again, from Neil's perspective, are you going to go home or will you wait and see the draw and find out, for instance, if you are playing uh, Stuart, in which case you'd be on on Saturday morning? What's your approach to the next couple of days? Uh, going straight, straight home now, um, Wednesday night down the club. That's when the, the lads all turn up. So I'll go and have a pint, pint with the boys tonight and just wait for the draw tomorrow. And then uh, we'll go from there, arrange my preparation from there, I think. Well, many congratulations. Only the one tonight. You, you, you can save it a little bit longer. Just a, just a cheeky one. Yeah. Just a cheeky one. The job's half done. But uh, many congratulations. A thoroughly absorbing match. We'll see you on the big stage sometime in the next week. Okay, cheers. Well, you may have seen pictures there of a whirlwind century from Robert Milkins. He's the next man to come in here.